Okay, cool. So let's let's click on special ad category real quick. Go to the very top left. And let me let me walk you through this really, really quick again. So special ad category, we always check that box right at the very top. And then we go with video views, that's for ad number one, and then hit the Do bottom. Do we need to continue. keep objective checked? The, yeah, because the objective, the special ad category was you checking the box and choosing housing. The objective is now checked because you chose video views. Got it, okay. Now, now, now for, for ad number one, it's video views. For ad number two and on, you're gonna go with conversions. Okay. But those are the next couple handful of coaching calls we have set up. So um, next coaching call will be how to set up custom audiences. And then the next coaching call after that will be how to set up custom conversions. Okay. So, so this one right here is for ad number one. Let's, we'll, we'll title it perfect. And let's just go down, click continue. And we'll make sure those are gray, shaded gray as well. So the create, the create AB test and, the, and the, the campaign budget optimization, those are shaded gray. Hit continue. And then now we chose our city. So we're going to focus on, on that area 50 miles out. Um, and then, and then we don't have any custom audiences right now. So we're, we're going to leave the custom audience part blank. And then we can no longer change age, gender. Um, all that stays the same. We went manual placements. We unchecked everything except for the news feed. So we're good there. Scroll down. And then, and then, yeah, so scroll down, scroll down. And then what we're going to do is this right here devices we're going to hit all devices because facebook allows you to hit only android or, or or only hit people who have an iphone but we don't need to narrow it that far um and then it, it also they also allow you to only target people who are connected to a wi-fi we want to target everyone no matter what they're connected to so we'll leave that and then and then the budget and schedule go ahead and scroll down and then you know what uh, go go up really really quick normally normally what people would do is go ahead and click on, um, click on, where's the, um, 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 sc scroll up real quick. Let me show you the, um, um, where's the, go up, let's see, go up real quick. A little more. Okay, scroll down, right, right there. So the detail targeting, hover, right where it says detail targeting, you should see, yeah, the, ed the edit to the very right, that one right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, click on that. So normally what people would do when, when they run ads is they'll, they'll put in keywords, target homeowners or target people who are been, who've been searching Zillow. That's like, what I was doing last night. Yeah. See, the reason why that's not needed is because we're only targeting a, a certain location. So we're only targeting uh, like, like, um, 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 uh, yeah, Littleton. So we're only targeting that area. And Facebook doesn't allow us to change the gender, change the age. We have to throw out a blanket. We have to throw out a wide net. And that's the reason why custom okay. audiences are so important because all we're going to do when we, our next coaching call is going to be custom audiences. All we're going to do is I don't care about putting in keywords. What I care about is, is showing my ad to those who are watching my videos. So rather okay. than putting a bunch of keywords, we're going to target people who are watching your videos. That's why this intro is so important. I need to know who watched. Now you're not going to know name and phone number, but you're going to, you're going to have the data of those who watched a certain percentage of this first video. Those are okay. the people I want to keep retargeting. And then ad number two, as we roll out that video, we do the same thing. We create a custom audience of those who watched that video. And then we show video ad number three to people who watched ad number one and ad number two. So the, the people okay. who are watching your stuff is who I want to keep getting in front of. I don't care about the keyword. Now, if I was marketing nationwide, if I was running a business across the country, then narrowing it in with keywords makes sense. But not if I'm targeting a certain area. And then at the end of the day, I'm only going to target those who watch my stuff anyways. So I don't need to narrow it down any further with keywords. Okay. Okay. So scroll down. That's what I wanted to make clear on this, on this part, the detailed targeting. Okay. So we're good there. We're good there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to leave that all there. And then the budget and optimization. So here's, here's what I normally, and, and what I want to do also, before we even get to this, this step right here, let's do this. Go to, go to click on, hover over, don't click, but hover over that home in the top left, right next to your name, Judy Woods, in the very top left of the page, there's that home. Mm -hmm. Don't click it, don't click it, but hover over it and just right click and open it, open link in new tab. 
let me look at the billing real quick, the billing date. Go ahead and open up that tab. Because this is going to kind of help me walk you through the budget. Is it trying to open up right now? Or you want me to go somewhere else? No, click on that tab right where it says 26. Yeah, click on that tab. Okay, perfect. So now let's click on, um, let's click on the three lines in the top left, right next to business manager. Business manager, okay. Okay, click on that and then click on billing. So let's go down to, we should see billing. It should be lower down. Actually, no, not on the page right there in the middle. Can you scroll down more right there? Mm -mm. Okay, click on business settings. I just want to check the, the billing date on when you get billed. Now we are at the end of the month. So, so I would think that your billing date isn't until the end of next month, but let's just double check. That way we can kind of determine what we can, what, what you should be spending on the budget for right now. So to the very left, yeah, click on, do you see billing or is it just payments? Do you have anything below that, below payments? Mm. Can you scroll down further? Did it allow you to go down any lower than payments? Hold on. There he is. There we go. Yeah, actually that's business info. Click on, yeah, click on payments. Okay, so there's no, there's no payment. Go back to, um, go back to the other tab. Click on the, the first tab, the ads manager, right where it says number one. Ad manager is number one. At the top, the tab. No, to the very, very top. Like the tab, the actual, you have your Facebook tab. Yeah, at the very top, up right where it says number one. Yeah. Click on that. Those are all your tabs. Okay, okay. cool. So the, the account that you're in is, is Judy Woods three, eight, five, one. Okay, cool. So go back to the other tab, that account, which one, which tab, the 26. You want me to go back up here again? Yeah. Click on that. Cause we got to make sure we're in the right account. So click on your name in the, in the top, right. Judy Woods that drop down right next to the red 26. Yeah. Click on that. No, the Judy Woods click on your name. Because okay. you have you have a couple accounts. So you have Judy Woods and then you have your personal ad account. Okay, right. perfect. So right now we're in the Judy Woods account. So you gotta add a payment method to this to this account. Go ahead and click on your name right there. Let's see if there's a payment on the on that one. This one? Yeah, click on that one. I thought it should, it should be being billed to Homegirl Colorado. To your business page? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but these are your these are ad accounts. You have your business page and then you have your ad account. These are your ad accounts. So we just had, we just want to make sure that you're in the right ad account because you have two of them. You have your personal one and then you have the Judy. Yeah, Wood I never one. did anything with these. Should I just delete them? Yeah, you could delete them. So check the How box. Do I delete it. Check the box. And then and then click on the drop down right next to the word edit. Actually, you can click on the trash can to the very right above. Yeah, right there. Click on that. I think you can do one at a time. Actually, you might be able to do two. It should be deleting six. Okay. okay so one of seven. Perfect. Okay. So delete it all. So hit that drop down where it says Judy Woods, three, eight, five. What is it one. saying? Publishing five of seven, seven of seven. What is that? It's deleting. So hit the Judy Woods the, at the very top, your drop down, three, eight, five, one. Yeah. Hit that. Okay, perfect. So can't find an ad. Okay, so this is this is the ad account that you want to put your card to, the 3851. Okay, so now go back to the other tab. That's why there's a lot to do before you run an ad on this. Which you gotta make tab? Sure the, the, there's only, we're only working out of these two tabs. This tab and then the other tab, ads manager, right where it says number one. Those are the only two tabs we're working out of. That's where you want me to go? Yeah, so, so to the very top left, is that the right account that we're in? Cause I just see business home. Yeah. Three, eight, five, one. Okay. Perfect. So you should, you should. Okay. So now go back to their tab and it, there's a lot of back and forth, but just have some patience. Cause I'm telling you, this is super important. Okay. So click the other tab real quick. The, the, yeah. That one. And then let's go back to billing on this one. We need to go back to the billing part. So hit those, you can hit the, the dots, hit the dots right below it. Click on that. And then let's click on, um, Okay, so see right here. So it's saying your request when business settings under business info. Go to business settings.
yeah, having this back end, that's what I dedicate literally one call to is, is okay. making sure all this is set up right. Um, so Judy Woods doesn't have any ad accounts yet. Um, so go ahead and see, I don't know if I want to create another one. Let's, let's just click on payments to the left. Yeah. Click on payments and then just add payment method right here. So they didn't charge me for the last ones. They should have, they should have. Let me, um, let me pause this. Thank you for that. Okay, cool. So, okay. So we should be good right there. Perfect. So now refresh this page. Okay, cool. So that one, that one is good. Now click on add accounts to the, to the top left, add accounts. And let's just make sure that that card is also, okay. So go ahead and go ahead and click on, click on the blue one, click on add. And let's just, um, let's just, I don't see you already, you should already have one add. Have you ran ads ever before? No. Okay. So you never, add, okay. Okay. So then let's just go ahead and create a new ad account and, and we'll name this one. We'll name this one, your, your real estate name. And so your real estate ads will be ran out of this account. And that credit card will be tied to this account, which, which you may have to put it in again, but we'll, we'll find out right now. And then select payment method. General mountain time. Okay. That's yeah, me. You, you why is it saying it's seven? It's not seven. Yeah, that's for Los Angeles. Go ahead and choose your city or state. Well, where's just mountain time? You'll find it. You just got to keep going. It might have been up. Yeah, it might be up. Keep going? Yeah, keep going up. So we saw Pacific. Um, Mine's Mountain Stand. Oh, there it is, Denver. Perfect. I thought I just saw it, didn't you? Yeah. There we go. There it there, is. There we go. American Perfect. Denver. But it's not six o'clock here. You know, that's not going by, by the exact time today or right okay. now, this moment. But yeah, you're fine okay. right there. And then payment method, yeah, it might ask you to put in. All right, oh, there it is there. Perfect, it's already saved. Awesome. So yeah, choose that one. And then okay. next. And then let's go. Okay, so this ad account will be used for, yeah, my business. Go with that one. Create. Okay, perfect. Now choose your name over there to the left, hit that circle. Yeah, that one. And then to the very, very right, click on that. It's for homegirl Colorado. Yeah, but it has to be tied to a personal name, which is you. Okay. You're the one who runs homegirl Colorado. So the very, to the very right, score the very bottom, you're going to, you're going to, uh, no, not right there, right there. Hit that gray one, hit it, turn it to blue and then assign. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay. Close. And then now, now refresh the page real quick. And then hit that drop down in the top right, right where you see your name, um, right next to the bell, the top right, the notifications. Hit that drop down and see if you see Home, home Grow Colorado. Okay, so it's, it's not there, that's fine. Okay, cool, so then that's the ad account. Okay, cool. So we should be, we should be good. Now what I want to check real quick is go back to, go back to, um, go back to, to payments to the left. Okay, cool. So we're good there. And do you, and then hit the, hit the top left, the, those three, those three lines, business settings in the top left. Click on that and let's see if we, yeah, there's, there's billing. Now we're good. So click on billing. Yeah. Click on that one. Okay. So now we should be able to, to see our actual billing date. 
Okay, perfect. So click on click on payment settings. Okay, so the one that I gave you has already been taken out then? Um, which one? When you ran the first the like one? Ad? Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now now you just put back in you well, you put it in again. So now now this right here, Facebook's gonna start charging you on this. But date. I'm saying the bank already took it out. Of the for the like ad? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah. That was like what was that? That was that was like a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. And I think that was just a hundred. So that was just one hundred and that went towards the like ad. Okay. So your 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 billing date is every thirty first of the month. Okay. Which is good. So that's awesome. That's going to give you from this day forward, all of August to run ads and not have a bill, not be billed until the 31st of August. Okay. Which is really, really cool. Well, it now, says you won't receive a bill until July 31st. Well, today, today's already the, or today's, what's today? Today's the 30th. So tomorrow's the 31st. So they bill on the 30th. So it says the 31st, but they actually bill on the 30th. Today's the 30th. Okay. So it's only going to be a couple bucks. Even if you're billed tomorrow, it's going to be literally a few bucks. Okay. And you and then and then you'll see a bigger bill. As you run weekly ads, you'll obviously see that bill August thirty okay. first. Okay. This is what I wanted to wanted you to know. It's very important to know when Facebook's going to bill you. Okay. So this was worth all that juggling. Okay, cool. So now we're good with that. Um, okay, cool. So now let's go back to the ad. Let's go back to the other tab. You can close this one out. Close that tab out. You're good there. That's the card. You can close that out, close that out. And then let's go to this one. Let's finalize this ad right here. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's scroll down. Now here's what we want to do. This daily budget, what I normally do is I end up hitting the drop down and going to lifetime budget. And it's the same budget. It's the same dollar amount. So it just comes down to what you want to spend. Like mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of agents will spend either five bucks a day 10 bucks a day when starting. And then as you start to get leads, as you start to even get deals in escrow, then you'll bump it up. As you start to close escrows, I should say, then you're going to bump it up to 20 bucks a day. So okay. $20 a day is where you really want to be. That's your ultimate goal. That's 600 a month, which is still peanuts, which is peanuts in my opinion, when it comes to really closing deals. Like if you're closing deals, 600 a month should be going to Facebook advertising. That's oh, yeah. 20 bucks a day. I just don't, right? I haven't had one close yet. Yeah, exactly. So we got to get you there. So right now it's up to you. You can either go five bucks a day. You can go 10 bucks a day because this first one, you're only going to run it for a week. So it's either you spend 35 bucks on it for the next seven days or you spend 70 bucks on it for the next seven days. What do you suggest? I always suggest 10 bucks a day, which would be 70. Okay. So where do I put that at? So what we're going to do is we're going to change that 500, change it to 70. So you can either go $10 at daily budget or $70 for lifetime budget. I always go lifetime. It's the same dollar. If I went $10 a day for seven days, same thing, okay. but I just go lifetime. So here's what I want you to do on this one. Let's actually change it. Let's well, not, not change it too much, but why don't you hit the drop down the start date, July 30th. Mm -hmm. let's start it. I always, and it doesn't even matter what time of the day it is. Like right now, mm -hmm. you know, it's afternoon. If I'm setting up an ad right now, which I am, I'll always set it up for the next day to go live at 6 a.m. Because it gives okay, so. Facebook plenty of time to review the ad. Because once we hit the, once we confirm the ad, Facebook has to review it. So it doesn't go live the moment we click the blue button. Like Facebook is going to review it sometimes. And if, and if your account is brand new, sometimes they take a few hours to approve the ad. Okay. So Why rather than let me change this, um, the, the, the two o'clock or the two eleven, mm -hmm. you, you can huh. just, um, go hit the, um, hit the two o'clock and change that to six and then just the 11 to zero and then try doing the P. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so I would suggest running it for seven days, run it for seven days, okay, get a so few thousand people to view it. Yeah. From the 31st one, two, to the four, five, six, the 6th, it'd be to the seventh. Okay. Yeah. It'd be, yeah. And then change that same time, 6am start and end at the same time. Okay. 
I wouldn't have been able to do all this myself. I'm actually being offered a job and I don't know if I'm going to take it or not. If they make me freeze my license, I may not take it. And if I don't take it, I may still take another little job just to support my heck yeah, Judy, like my Facebook ads. Yes. I would highly, highly recommend it. Even if it's a part-time job at the freaking mall. Like I tell this to my clients all the time, man. I say, dude, if you have to have a part-time hustle, you need a part-time hustle. And this is just to afford Facebook ads. Because it's so, so important that we're running Facebook ads today. That's what I'm going to do. Like you if have I take to. take the big one and they don't make me freeze my license. The only thing is I would be with American Preferred Home Warranty. So I'd be working with real estate agents and they're telling me I have to freeze my license. Really? Oh, that would suck. I know, but I don't, I, I keep thinking, is there a way that I could do it without them knowing? Well, I mean, shit, no one has to know anything if you don't say anything, unless they run a background check on you. But even with the background I think, check, I think they, they spoke like, to me out on Facebook already and saw Homegirl Colorado. Oh, that's right. Your Facebook. But that, yeah. But that's okay. You never know. I'm not, I'm not bringing it up again. Can you want me to hit continue? Hit, hit show more options. Let's see what else is down there real quick. Okay. Okay, cool. Scroll down, scroll down. We're good there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Continue. Okay. So this is the third and final step. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, and you know what? I always, um, I always name it like, just like we did on the, on the first campaign objective, we named it video views, intro video, the ad set. Why don't you go back real quick? Click on audiences to the left, ad set yeah. audiences, click on, okay. click on that. And let's go to the very, very top and let's name this as well. Because when you're looking at everything from the dashboard, which I'll show you, it's good. It's going to just show 18 plus. But as you're looking at everything on the dashboard, that's looking at everything from a 30,000 square foot view. And I want to be able to look at everything and know what the hell each, each step is. So right here on the title, I'll try to be more specific. I'll put, I'll put Littleton 50 miles. Yeah. So, so that's, so the, again, the, the campaign objective, that's the video views, intro video, the ad set title, Littleton 50 miles. And if there was anything else, we would, I would put that up there too. I would put, I would put retargeting custom audience if we were doing that okay. here. So I would just try to be a little bit specific on that, um, on the title. Okay. We're good there. I take, and, if I, if I, if I get offered the job and if I could not freeze my license, I'm just going to pay you the 500 a month to do it. But let's see what happens. You'll, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll be able to afford it. Well, at the same time, I mean, I always, I always tell my friends, tell them like, dude, yeah, up front, you may look at that as, as an expense, but it's actually an investment. But after the first month, we're capturing leads and we start closing deals. It's not like you're paying, it's not like you're paying me oh, that much for I seven months. My first, did I close my first deal? I'll have enough money to pay. Hell yeah. That's what year. I always tell people. So don't look at it as where we're going to go seven months and not close anything. It's like, dude, if, if, if we go 30 days and we don't have any activity, I would fire myself on month number two. Yeah. So it's not like we're going to be, you know, doing this every day a month and nothing's happening. Like, no, like you're going to be able to afford. Yeah. Don't even worry about that. We'll, we'll get there for sure. So scroll down. We're good here. We're good here. Let's just go to the third step. You can just hit the, hit the blue button at the very bottom. Yeah, and then I'm going to have to decide if I want to go after buyers or sellers. My son's a mortgage broker, and he's going, Mom, do buyers because it's easier right now than sellers. He said Thank sellers you. are getting real funny. If your son is a, is a lender, like, you guys can crush it together. Oh, we're, yeah, he's, he might be maybe my third or fourth video in, yeah. Heck, yeah, and have him start paying for the damn Facebook ads. You know, I may talk to him because I may be able to afford you sooner. Cause he said he'll go on half with me. Heck anything. yeah. Heck yeah. He's making so much freaking money. He could do it. Heck yeah. He can like, that's a drop in the bucket for him. Like yeah. when I was a lender, I was a mortgage guy. I would partner with real estate agents and pay for their whole damn freaking marketing. Oh, so, freaking yeah. I mean, the amount of money he's making, I'm going, are you fucking kidding me, Ray? Did, did he's he really good. That convince you to get into the business? He's the reason. Yeah. He's the one that convinced me. Yeah. Yeah. I would think that yeah, yeah. that's really cool. That's really cool. Cause I always meet like, normally I meet husband and wife, like the husband would be the lender and then the wife would be the agent. Like I have a lot of friends like that, but son and son and mom, that's really cool too. Like that's super powerful. You guys can crush it together. So here over here, we always want to make sure that, um, 
that the home girl Colorado, that that page is there. So that that's fine. And then okay. your Instagram account, let's hit that real quick and let's connect your, your Instagram account. Even though we're not running an ad there just yet, let's just connect it anyways. So that way everything is sync synced together. Okay. Perfect. So that's good there. Okay. So now here's what you're going to always, always, always keep in mind. You're, you're always going to put the ad on the page first. So just like you did, in fact, go back to your business page real quick. Let's look at that video one more time because the moment we come over here and choose it, we can no longer change the text. So if we need to update the text, then, then we got to do it now because this is the ad, everything, everything that's right here. You're going to always post that video right out the text. You're going to always put it on the business page first. And then the moment we actually started as an ad, which is what we're about to do, we're about to hit that button. You can no longer change now it. What's happening? Where'd it go? Oh, there I am. There we go. So scroll up real quick. Let's, um, let's actually go into, go into, um, go into videos, click on to the left, click on videos. And then let's, let's, um, let's look at that video real quick. That video should, huh, I wonder why it's not, it's not showing. Oh, there we go at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, cool. So click on it. Let's, let's edit real quick. Let's do a simple edit real quick because we're not going to be able to do it Hello? later. Push pause. Go ahead and freaking big lips. Don't I? Dude, I was about to say, Judy, did you get them done or something? Cause they, they look, you have amazing ones. No, I've never had my cheeks done either. People are you are like, serious? They look too like, oh perfect. God, you guys are noticing the things that I don't like about me. No, that's going to attract people to you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're going to attract way more people. Click on, click on those three dots next to follow at the top. You see those three dots right there? Click on to the very right. Very, very, very right. Yeah, right where it says follow, there's three dots right next to it. Move this to the very, top. very right. More, more, more. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, click on that, click on edit. Yeah, edit, edit video. Okay, so here's what we have to do. Is we wanna put a title if, if there's not one. Okay, so you got, okay, perfect. So let me introduce, perfect, so you're good. So now choose on the thumbnail. Is that the, is that the thumbnail we want? Ch cl click on thumbnail to the right, and there's different thumbnails that you can choose. Okay. Click, on, click on the picture, or on the, yeah, click there. So now we have different images that we can use for the thumbnail. I mean, that first one was great, but I'm just, I'm just showing you this part to see if, you know, in the future, this is where you would choose a different. Oh, so that you don't look like you're freaking goofy. Yeah. So not that you did. I mean, you looked fine, but sometimes you may want to change it up. Well, and this this one's a good one. Yeah, that's a great one. Okay. We'll do so that hit one. Save. Perfect. So in here, you always want to make sure that part's done first. You got the title, which is let me introduce myself. And then you got the text, which is welcome to, welcome to, Welcome to Homegrow Colorado. Perfect. So that right there is, is good. Always make sure that that's set up first. And then let's go over here, go back to the tab, the ads manager. And then now let's choose this. Ads post. manager creation? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go use existing post, which is right there in the middle. Use existing post. Perfect. So we're going to always post on the business page first. We're going to click on use existing post. We're going to click on select post and we're going to find that post. Perfect. Right there. Click on that one and then click on continue. Perfect. This is a lot of work. I'm going to talk to my son. And, and I'm telling you once, once, I mean, you're doing great. This is your first time. So after this, you're going to know this stuff like the back of your hand. You really are. And then right here, the add button for the first one, it's going to be send message. So click on add button. This is where you would put the link to your webpage, to your seller guide, to your buyer guide. That's where you would put the website URL. But because it's a video ad, our only objective is to get thousands of people in that area to see the video. It's not to get them to click and go to our webpage. We don't have a webpage yet. So okay. nor do we want to send them to your website. That's not where we want to send them either. Okay. So in this case, for the very first one, we're going to click on learn more and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to hit the drop down and choose, choose send message. So if someone okay. wants to send a message, they can click the button and, and send message update post. But again, the whole objective is to get thousands of views 
on this. It's not to send message. It's not to even click a button. It's, it's to view the damn video. Okay. And, and, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to get that data of those who viewed it and show them ad number two. And when we go to ad number two, that's when we need to learn more button. That's when send message will now say learn more. And the moment they click on it, then they go download our seller guide or our buyer guide. So ad okay. number two and on are for lead capture. This one is to just simply capture the audience of those out there and find the warm audience of those who watch it. Okay. So okay. scroll down. We're good. So that's that. So now, and what you can also do is scroll, scroll up real quick. You might be able to see it now. And if not, we can, I can show it to you after, but scroll up. Okay. Right there. So hit that. Actually, you might not be able to see it yet, but hit that right there, right where it says homegirl Colorado, right where it says sponsored on the actual video above to the right. There's that, there's that square up to the right, right there, right there. Click that. Okay, so it's not there just yet. That's fine. Scroll down. Let's just let's just confirm it. The very very bottom. And so our next call is is setting up a custom audience, and and setting okay. up a custom audience of all those who watch this video. So what we can do here is this is this is if if people actually hit send message, which which they're not because we're not running a send message ad. We're running a video view ad. So this part really isn't that, that important at all. Scroll down a little bit. That basic default text is fine for this one. Um, and you may have to scroll down, scroll down. You may have to edit it just a bit, or let's see if we can just continue. Scroll down, scroll down, very bottom. And then also we need to add our pixel, but that's not till our next call. Scroll down, go to the very bottom. Okay, yeah, you should be able to just confirm. So hit the green one and we're good. So that's going to go into review for uh, it could be it could be up to a few hours before they before they approve it and you'll get an you'll you'll receive an email and that email will say your schedule at your ad is scheduled or running. So right when it approves, which it should be within the next few hours. And that's the reason why I always set it for the next day at 6 a.m. So I can always give them plenty of time to, so to approve it. How do, how do I know how long it's running for? Because you set the calendar. Okay. But it also says oh, it right there. August 7th. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So here's what I want you to do also. You bookmarked the other page where you set up the three steps, where you set up the, the, the ad. I want you to bookmark this page right here as well. So hit the star at the top right, and, and let's call this one, let's see what it's, it's already called, but let's call this one dashboard. Erase that and call it dashboard. Yeah, so this is your dashboard. This is where you'll be able to see all the numbers. Um, but, but again, let it run. Seven days, let it run. We're going to get thousands of views. You can always look at the video on the page to see the view count, or you oh, can look at the numbers here. Make one. It didn't make one. Um, yeah, I did click the, click the folder, Facebook ads. You should be good. There, there it is. is. Okay. Yeah. So you're good. Perfect. Yeah. There's no way I would have been able to do this. There's no way I'm even remembering what I do. Not at all. And, and I'm telling you, most don't even know how to do that. That's why most agents, the number one thing, my, David, my ad got rejected. David, my ad got rejected. David, I don't know why, but my ad got rejected. You get that a lot. Like I get that a lot. Cause I talk to agents every yeah, I'm day. I'm going to talk to my son about this and say, Hey, you want to go in 250 with me? Heck yeah, man. Like why, why not? Like 250? He, yeah, he, I mean, I don't know his finances, but if he's doing good at mortgages, shit. Let me tell you nothing. He's doing really good. Yeah. Then he should be spending that a week with you, you know, seriously, because damn, if those, and, that, and that's when we would pivot to just buyers. Now we run out, uh, we run weekly ads talking about the process of buying and you and you and him can go back and forth making videos together and just take over Littleton, like freaking take it over mom and son, lender agent. Like you guys would freaking demolish it if you had the budget. I'm going to send him a text right now. Yeah. Just say, Hey man, I just set up my first video ad. You're going to be seeing my video. Cause a is he in Littleton as well? Uh-huh. Yeah, he'll probably see you eventually in his newsfeed because you're targeting that area and you're, you didn't exclude anyone. So he should, if he's on Facebook, he should be seeing your ad soon. And just okay, say, hey, so man, I'm I just set my first ad. Yeah, he'll do it with me because he was going to do bold leads with me. 
bold leads, I, I canceled them and I'm not paying them and they're, they're going to get really mad at me, but it could take me to court or whatever, but they weren't delivering crap. Yeah, no, we got it. We got to create our own leads. We got to build a brand. We got to get that entire city to know your face. We got to, we got to create our own leads and this is how we do it. This is, this is it, it. Yeah. It's a wrap. It's game over. So what I want to do is I'm going to send you my calendar link and schedule, schedule the next three calls. If you can, like just schedule back to back to back, if you can, because we got custom audiences, we got custom conversions, and then we got to set up the landing pages with your Facebook pixel. Those are three different calls right there that are absolutely required for ad number two and on without doing those three things, custom audience, custom conversions, and your pixel on the page, on the landing page. Without those three things, there's no leads coming in. This right here is simple. This is just video views. We're going to get thousands of people to view the damn video. That's it. That's simple. But after this, okay, so, we need to capture leads. So what do I prepare for if I want to do my next um, video next yes. week? What, what, do, what do I have to prepare here, for here, here, in here, order to have the learn more thing and then get a PDF? Yes. Here's what we got to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a handful of examples of, of well, here's what you should do first. Talk to And then son. can I just pay, give you my credit card and you just take a hundred bucks out for your class today? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Do you want me to just use the same card on file? Does it end in seven, two, three, two? Yeah, that's, a, that's the same one. Yeah. And if you could just send me a receipt, but at least take out this first class. Okay, perfect. For sure. And then I will get myself into a position where I just hire you to do it for me once a month. Either that or I teach you how to do it. I mean, that's what these whole next three classes were really designed to teach you how to do it. So you don't have to hire anyone, but yeah, once you do get to that position, you may not want to do any of this stuff. Yeah. Yourself. But I, I mean, you walked me through this, but I don't remember anything I did. I recorded it for you. I recorded it for you. So I'll send it to you. I'll have, I'll have okay. it up on YouTube. Yeah. So just take out the hundred for this class out of that seven, two, three, two. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. I'll do that. And then I'll send you my calendar link and just schedule the next few calls whenever, whenever you can let this one for, run first, but here to answer your question, here's what you want to prepare for. It, it starts now. So every Friday, a new video goes live. That's what you need to, you need to jot down every Friday. Cause this one's going to go live on Friday. So let's just start the good habit. Now, every Friday we roll out a new video. So video ad number two, talk to your son first. Say, hey, man, if you're willing to go in, I'll focus on educating Littleton on the process of buying. But if, you may, if, you're, if you're not willing to go in with me on this Facebook campaign, then maybe I might do sellers and focus on listings. So talk to him first or, or communicate with him first because that's going to determine which way you go. That's going to deter determine which, what you start talking about on these videos, either buying or selling. You're not going to talk about both. We're going to talk about one of them, one or the other. So yeah, because so, one of the ones that I want, one of the ones that I want to do is where I have him on there talking with me. Um, I want to do that kind of a video mm -hmm. where I'm interviewing him, and then we boost that one and talk he, about, he, you know, what are the options for new home buyers right now? There's so many. There's so many topics and so many videos. There's so many short two-minute videos that you and him can do regarding the process of buying, the importance of your FICO score. That's a that's a whole video right there with you and him. The importance of your debt to income ratio. That's a whole video right there. The importance of speaking to a lender before you reach out to an agent. That's a whole video right there. Like there's so many videos that you can do on buying. But again, I would go that route if he's willing to go in with you. If he's I'm not, it, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, oh, he'll go in with me. You know, so, so, so in that case, to answer your question for video at number two, that's when you would start talking about the process of buying and what it takes to buy. Short video, Judy, that's all, man. Two-minute video on the process of buying. All this knowledge you have on what it takes to buy, break it down into little two-minute segments. That's your video. But, but here's another thing. Yeah. Oh. And, and, and you yeah. want to make sure it's up every Thursday because Friday it goes live. So just like you did right here, let's, let's start this, this good habit right here as far okay. as the timeline. Well, send me your calendar. I'll try to get in your calendar for next Thursday. And then if you could send me what it is that I need to start working on so I could have that ready. Um, well, but I, when do I need to start getting the landing pages? That's for next week. So right when we go into, into the next second week, that's that second video. On that second video, you're going to talk about either buying or selling. And at the end of that video, just like you did with the intro video, what did you do at the end of the intro video? You, you mentioned your phone number. At the end of the second video and on, there's no more mentioning phone number. 
on the second video and on, I'm either going to, I'm either going to say, Hey, click the learn more button. Cause not right here in this video, we have send message button. The second video and on is going to be learn more. So okay, that's so button, a call to action. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So, so, so at the end of that second video and third video and fourth and on it's, it's click learn more. It'll take you straight to my web page where you can download your free buyer guide or where you can download your free seller guide. That's Perfect. why you got to talk to your son. Which way are you going to go? Buyers or sellers? Because it's so important for you to know that you need to know what to say at the end of that video. And you need to know what, which, what PDF to give out. Either Perfect. I'm going to have them okay. click on learn more to download my buyer guide, or I'm going to have them click on learn more to download my seller guide. Which one? Perfect. Okay. So if you could just, as soon as I find out from him, I'll let you know, and then you can send me those PDFs. I'll Perfect. send it to Fiverr, or I have a gal that could probably, you know, change it for me also. Yeah. And heck yeah. And yeah, anybody can do that for you simple and, and just rebrand it to yourself. Perfect. Okay. I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay, Judy, that's, thank you so much. I'll email you shortly. I'll get on the next calendar, talk to my son. Let's do it. Um, yeah, so Can I'm going to try and get him to do the 250 and me do 250 to bring you in. Or maybe I could wait on that a little bit longer, but maybe I could just add my ads budget <coughs> until I get my first closing. <coughs> you could totally do that. We just got to, we got to just schedule the next few calls if we do go the second add and on, because we got to learn custom audiences. We have to learn custom conversions. Oh, no, I'm definitely doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Should I just, should I just charge the whole 400 now then? Um, no, I need to make more money. Okay. So I just do a hundred and hundred. That'd be Perfect. good. No, that's totally fine. I'll email you right now. I'll receipt and everything. So just schedule. I'll send you the link, schedule the calls whenever you can. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Judy. Okay. Let this okay. one run, let this one run and, and, and just watch the views go up from the video on the actual page. Perfect. And I'll see if I can get on your calendar for next Perfect. Thursday to run one on Friday and I'll Perfect. let you know Perfect. if I'm going to do buyers or sellers. Perfect. Try to do okay. it. Maybe try to do it maybe Wednesday. Cause we need some time for the landing page. There's a, there's a ton of stuff that we got to do the, to the page first, to the actual okay. web page. So try to maybe schedule it Wednesday, if anything. Okay. Well, you just let me know what I have to get ready pre and I'll get ready pre. Just the video. That's all you need to do. The video. You need to know which video you're going to make, either buyers or sellers. And at the end of the video, there's a call to action to click learn more to download your free buyer guide. Perfect. Okay. So, so you got to just know which, which way you're going, buyer or sellers. Okay, send me your calendar and I'll try to get on there cool. Wednesday. Okay, Judy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.